Hello again. For those of you who are wondering why I left Los Medanos College and Diablo Valley College, the reasons are pretty broad. To start off with, you know, I started school in 2003 when I graduated high school. And my first year of LMC was not what I expected when I first signed up. People there were different. And it was a, it was a lot like high school. Same old bullying where all the jocks and cheerleaders get together. And, you know, I, I was under the impression that, you know, when you go to college, you get all these girls around you, surrounding you. Especially if you were some dorky guy when you were in high school like me. And I found that I got made fun of. I got called all kinds of names. I got called creep, stalker, asshole, all kinds of awful names, which... I won't even get into, but, yeah. But I spent a number of years there, so I'd have to go back to tell you. My first semester I took English, computer science, and Spanish. I flunked Spanish. It was a very difficult class for me, difficult subject. There were a lot of people there, about at least 30 people. And you got to understand, coming from my perspective and my point of view, I mean, being in a room full of 30 people was quite a lot for me to handle. I mean, it's not like being in a room with just only eight people in high school or, you know. Other than that, my so-called college career didn't really turn out as I'd hoped. I thought I was going to end up having a girlfriend, maybe meet my wife someday down the line and again you know I was very wrong um, I suffered with a lot of depression throughout the years in LMC nobody really helped me when I needed them I was in so much pain you know I tried to commit suicide I overdosed on pills prescriptions painkillers you name it trying to kill myself my relationship at home was deteriorating I finally, 2010, I just decided to call it quits and retire for good. And I'm kind of glad I did. You know, I feel like I'm free now. I don't have to suffer anymore and deal with others' bullshit. And I can be myself and do what I like to do. I tried just about every single course there was. I took music courses. I even took science courses. Didn't work out. I mean, everywhere I went, I could never find peace. People in the music classes were real jerks, especially the jazz people at LMC. And, um, excuse me. It was a completely different world between the jocks, between the band dorks the cafeteria, people would always make fun of each other, and they'd spread rumors. And at first I thought it was a racial thing, turns out it wasn't. But people just could never adapt, could adapt to me at all. And I don't know why. Maybe it's because I am different, and I do suffer from Asperger's Syndrome. I, I was born with it, you know, there's nothing I can really do. All I can do is try to better myself, which I've always tried, but the fact of the matter is I'm not going to change for anybody, no matter what you tell me to do. And when I first started in Diablo Valley College in 2008, I took a music class, because another friend of mine suggested it to me, and he said it was one of the best classes ever, which, to this day I debate on the subject matter, but... I experienced quite a lot in that class. For the short time that I was there for only two years, felt like ten years. Felt like my entire career at LMC just in a short time, all over again. And but then again, you know, I think it's the people that I'm surrounded by, no matter what. There's always going to be people that are just immature, that act like kids, that just don't know when to quit, so that said
glad I retired. And I don't see myself ever going back to Los Medanos or Diablo Valley College or any other college for that matter. I'm just too old for it. I don't see myself doing it, you know. Um, people say in the future, are you going to go back? The answer is no. They say only time will tell, but I already made up my mind that I'm not going back. I went through so much drama, teachers, students. I was pushed around, I was beaten. I was harassed by other guys because I thought I liked their girlfriends. I was accused of all kinds of shit, which I didn't even do. I was persecuted by others. And I'm totally innocent, too. I mean, I can prove my innocence. And people... I don't know why they talk shit about me. I think they got off on it. They needed somebody to pick on, so they picked on me. Because I'm just a meaningless person. I'm a nobody. Just another guy trying to make it in life. But... I went through so much bullshit. Almost got into fist fights with people. Got threatened by others. And there were times I just felt like taking a sledgehammer and beating some people to death with it. Because they were crossing the line with me. But I realized that's not the answer. And I'd have to be pretty crazy and stupid if I was going to do something that stupid. But, I mean, you move on. I mean, I'm 26 years old. I've got other ambitions in life that I want to do. Hopefully, you know, my life will get better. Time heals all wounds, right?